Hey, and we're back. Welcome to Game 7 of the Middle Age Road to 2200 ELO. Uh, I play a 15-10 chess game. We talk through my thoughts, ideas, plans, and hopes that I have less fucktard moments and play better chess. And uh, yeah, join me here as we work our way, try to work our way up through the rating ladder as a middle aged guy. And I've got a game instantly. I think we'll go for an English. This guy's rated 2040. I'm rated 1885. Nice. So I love playing my English against the King's Indian stuff. So let's go for it. Now I'm going to hit them with this. Usually throws people off a little bit. Now, I want to get my, yeah, so I want to get my bishop here, but this is a little annoying. So we're going to stop this, and then we go here. We'll go here, we might go here. I haven't really faced um, double finchetto on this English very much. We'll see what happens. Hopefully play some solid chess against a 2,000 rated player. So he might be wanting to plant a knight there. So if I go here, and he jumps in here, I have now lost, well no, yeah. I could still take with the knight. Let's go. Then we're going to move our rook. And consider uh, pushing on the queen side. Okay, so now he left. We're gonna go here. And soon there's a break. In this English, there is always going to be a B4, D4, or F4 pawn break. Now, which is best? See, usually when this knight leaves, it's because they want to push. That's that's Black's plan. <sighs> usually, but it might he might be trying to come here too. But let's just say, let's say I let Black push. Let's say I let black push. Um, I think it's safe to take at that point, but then my good bishop is going to be, yeah, that's friggin' dangerous. If I push this now, I do weaken my king side considerably. I don't like that, especially with this coming. This is a decision to make. I feel like the time has come for this.
Let's say he pushes and I take, and he takes back with this pawn. That would be interesting. Then I would think it's time for this push. So what if I get this push in now? Takes. Takes. If he doesn't take, then I have a serious threat. So if I push and he pushes, takes, probably takes, and push. Now he'll be attacking my bishop though. Okay, so if I push and he pushes and I take, to keep this format so what if I push on the queen side and he pushes taking socks I don't want to take I almost think so I think this is the way to go and he pushes, takes, takes, here, takes. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, I don't like that. Hmm. Never kind of been in this predicament here. I guess we might have to just get used to giving up this bishop. Right? Just go here, let him push. Takes, takes, then push. Maybe? Let's do it. I don't know if it, that that's a key moment, move 12. I really, yeah, so move 12. I'm really curious if I should have broke. So I think we have to give up this bishop because you can't let black push, right? You just can't. So we're taking. Is he gonna take my bishop first? Or should I take his bishop first? Or should I attack the queen first? Oh, there's a nice little fork here. But then he grabs this, I grab that. Then he moves. Yeah, so let's look at this. Fork. Takes. Takes. He can always throw in this takes. But then his knight goes back, and my queen is on this square. So picture my queen on this square, his knight's here. And then now he's threatening to push this after the take. Yeah. I think I gotta get this in. So let's say I push this right now. Takes, 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 takes. We could really, yeah. I think I gotta get it in. I wonder if I should trade on first though. Cause then I might have future attacks with my queen. Cause it'll, this undoubtedly will happen, but then I can threaten this with some tempo. Maybe get in here with a check. I don't know. So I feel like maybe this should come. But then there's like nasty ideas of weakening my squares. Yeah, no, I don't like that. So I think we're just going to take and push. Now if 
I put take, takes, 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 takes. It's getting crazy. Ooh, what about... What about going here? And then here. What if we get rid of... What if we get our bishop out of danger with a tactic? So he goes here. Probably. I mean, if he blocks with his bishop, I'll gladly take it. Yeah. Okay, so I go here, let's say he moves though, then I go here and I'm making some threats, because then I'm threatening to fork. Yeah, let's do it. Now I'm threatening the fork. But then he's threatening a fork. No, because I cover this square. Ooh, this might work out good. Yeah, he's going to block it for sure. But then... Okay, so we're going to take that. We're going to go... I think... Is this the time to break? Takes... Hmm. I have three options. I either want to go here... I want to go here, or I want to push. Those are my three options. Pawn structure. What's that going to look like? I kind of like the control I have over this square still. So if I push, and he pushes, takes, takes. I think I would... Ooh. So if I push and he pushes, takes, threatening a knight, I think it's the time. I think. I don't know. My time management is not very good this game. I've chewed through so much time in the opening. So we have a three on two. And we have a three on four on the queen side. Now I think it's time to get the rooks in. for this and then I 
think. Yeah, it's tough to say. If he goes for this, do I blockade the pawn? Yeah, okay. So I have a decision to make about blockading the pawn. Because what I feel, if I go here, he might go there and get something behind it so that he can push it. He might also be going for a break here. But this, you know, I got nice squares for, so I think. This rook is a little soft. I want to blockade the pawn. But then he can, yeah, he's going to get some activity. So I think we're going to go here. And then we're going to get our rooks on the files. Okay, we're into the middle game. Made it out of the opening. Tough opposition, though. Change the song. So I think I'm going to plant this knight here. It's a beautiful square for it. We could trade knights. Potentially. And this is a check. He wouldn't trade knights. So I might get my knight there. Or do you think he's going to break right away? He better move his king or his rook. Oh, okay. Satisfying to get a win in like that against a 2,000 rated player. Okay, well, we won't uh, get too crazy on analysis. We'll leave that for a separate video. But let's take a look at just for funsies, a little sneak peek at the game review. So we're going to switch over to the other layout just quickly. And we're going to upload a new one. Okay. Little sneak peek.
Only 88% accuracy with one mistake. Computer wanted me to kick the knight. Yeah, we'll dive deeper into why that would be. But, uh... This stuff is meaningless. Opening. Played with 86% accuracy. 91% accuracy in the middle game. Well, not a bad game of chess. His blunder was pushing that pawn because it forced this sequence. Yeah. Alright, well, we take those, especially after yesterday's train wreck. Um, until next time, cheers.